we know in COVID, when you get infected with SARS-CoV-2 and develop COVID-19, we know that only about 10% of patients who develop the disease COVID-19 have lingering symptoms that go on beyond 12 weeks after the initial infection, and that's termed long COVID. And what our study aimed to do was to examine the integrity of the blood vessels in the brain in patients who are reporting long COVID, but also reporting long COVID with a neurological manifestation called brain fog, this patient reported symptom of brain fog, which is slow, slow down thinking, decrease in cognitive ability, being able to remember short-term memories. Many patients are suffering from this still two years, three years on from the COVID pandemic. And we investigated the functioning of a very important structure in the brain called the blood-brain barrier. We established that the barrier is now not functioning normally in these patients. This is really important because many patients uh, have been told that they're not suffering at all, they need to get back to work, etc. So now we know there's a definite pathological basis for long COVID. Not only that, we have uh, at least a range of possible treatments now to try and repair the barrier. And so the next phase of these uh, studies will be really exciting with the potential for a cure uh, in the distance. So measuring blood vessel integrity is already a clinically useful biomarker because it is applied to people who are suffering from strokes or brain cancer and other neurological disorders. We want to now use this biomarker to identify those who are at risk of developing neurological symptoms of other post-viral illnesses, including long COVID. And the ultimate goal of this research is to be able to develop new therapies which can fix the breakdown in the integrity of these blood vessels in the brain and to determine if this is a useful strategy for controlling these symptoms.